A university professor at MIT many years ago invented a new type of battery, the liquid metal battery. Donald Sadaway, professor of material science for over 40 years, taught freshman chemistry and inspired thousands of students in their first year at MIT. He also directed the graduate program in material science and led group Sadaway, the laboratory with its team of eager scientists that moved forward with his revolutionary idea. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, heard about the work of Donald Sadaway as he'd been watching his freshman chemistry lectures online. And in 2009, Gates came to visit him at his office at MIT. He mentioned if there were a startup company based on the liquid metal battery research, he would be interested in helping fund the company. More than 10 years in development and liquid metal batteries invented by an American professor may just revolutionize the battery energy storage industry in North America and maybe even in many other places around the world. Hello, my friends. This is a remarkable story. It's one you need to know about. A decade in development, liquid metal batteries by Ambry may soon change the energy storage game completely. Now, lithium ion batteries have some problems, as we know. They lose efficiency when the weather is too hot or the weather is too cold. They lose the ability to fully charge over time. They can catch fire and lithium being the primary ingredient of pretty much all batteries now on the market, means that current batteries are reliant on the China-controlled supply chain of critical minerals. That's not really a good thing. However, even with these drawbacks, lithium iron has become the dominant player in the painfully slow growing business of providing battery storage for renewable energy. There are many new players in Battery Town seeking to take market share from lithium. Lithium iron phosphate is one solution. Sodium batteries is another. Iron flow vanadium batteries is another. There's many different things going on in the battery storage industry. However, one company has been working on the problem for a decade now called Ambry. Largely funded by Bill Gates, they appear to be on the cusp of actually releasing their revolutionary technology to the market. In fact, this is not vaporware. This is the real deal. In fact, Ambry is only a couple of months away from delivering their first liquid metal battery to a customer. This is the start of something much bigger. The company said, we want to have a battery that can draw from the sun even when the sun doesn't shine. Now that was what the founder of the company said a couple of decades ago, in fact, more than 20 years ago. How do we use the energy from the sun when the sun's not there? The journey from idea to creation of this battery was a very long one, says the founder of the company. And it's a journey that took him to the pages of Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world way back in 2012. He also made a stop to the Colbert Report we confidently predicted his liquid metal battery would replace what we're using now. Now, many naysayers said it wouldn't happen. In fact, it's been so long now that the company was pretty much written off entirely. But they shouldn't have been, because this is the real deal. Ambry's liquid metal battery is a design that's never been done before. Within a casing, two metal alloys of calcium and antimony are separated by molten salt. By heating the cell to 500 degrees Celsius, the resulting electrochemical reaction allows electricity to be either stored or discharged. This application is huge when it comes to solar panels and wind turbines. Nobody wants electricity that's green but doesn't work after dark. It's precisely after dark that you want your lights on, said Sadaway. The current solution for storing green energy is through the use of lithium-ion batteries. And obviously without battery storage, you waste that energy. You waste the energy you're getting from the wind at night and you waste the excess energy you generate from the sun during the day. Now, this liquid metal battery is made for grid level storage. It's not something for your own home. Chief Operating Officer of Ambry, Jim Pruitt, said once the technology is fully proven, it will be about scale 
about scaling up production as quickly as humanly possible. Perrette says, Ambry hopes to produce 1,000 shipping container sized liquid metal batteries to plug right into the grid. Without these batteries, Pruitt says, the future of green energy isn't as green as it can be. So what are some of the advantages of these batteries? Well, looking on the Ambry website, one of them is cost. The liquid metal battery is comprised of a liquid calcium alloy anode, a molten salt electrolyte, and a cathode comprised of solid particles of antimony, enabling the use of low cost materials and a low number of steps in the cell assembly process. The lower the number of steps, the lower the cost of the battery. The lower the cost of materials, the lower the cost of the battery. You can see where we're going. The active materials in Ambry cells reversibly alloy and de-alloy while charging and discharging, and the electrolyte is thermodynamically stable with the electrodes, avoiding unwanted side reactions such as film formation that degrade the performance of other cell chemistries. Furthermore, the negative electrode is fully consumed when discharged and then is reformed on every cycle, resulting in a highly repeatable process with no memory effect. Now that's one of the disadvantages of lithium ion batteries, having the memory effect. With these batteries, it doesn't matter how many times you charge them, they have no memory cycle. And it's these unique operating characteristics that Ambry's liquid metal battery technology avoids common degradation mechanisms that cause capacity fade in other chemistries. This is a significant advantage versus current energy storage solutions. One of the big advantages of these batteries is that they can be heated to enormous temperatures up to 500 Celsius and still work fine. So even in hot environments like deserts or places like Africa or India or Southeast Asia, these battery energy storage can work without having to be pre-cooled. Now, one of the problems with current battery storage is the amount of energy it takes to actually keep those batteries cool is often up to 50% of the entire battery storage system itself, which is enormous. Ambry's commercial systems will be packaged in 550 to 1150 VDC containers with up to one megawatt hours of capacity. And these containers will be factory assembled and shipped to site fully populated and sealed. Each battery module or container will contain no replaceable or serviceable components at all. Now this eliminates on-site maintenance and means that the container becomes the modular and placeable system component. Projects with 10 or more containers connected in parallel at the DC side of the site PCS, system reliability is enhanced through N plus 1 redundancy at the container level. So what does this all mean? Ultimately, Ambry says that this is the lowest cost energy storage system anywhere. Ambry cells utilize commonly available electro materials that cost one third of those in nickel, manganese, cobalt, lithium ion cells. The manufacturing of Ambry cells is far simpler and requires one third to half of the capital expense per megawatt hour of production of lithium ion. In addition, Ambry based systems do not have cooling, fire suppression, or module and rack based BMS equipment as lithium ion systems require. That massively reduces the cost. For these reasons, long duration Ambry based battery systems are a fraction of the cost of lithium ion when comparing 20 year, 8 hour duration systems. So lithium ion battery storage is predicted to come down in cost massively, right? What will happen then? Well, the company says, even compared to low future lithium ion prices, these energy storage systems that they currently manufacture will be significantly cheaper than future lithium iron phosphate energy storage solutions. Now, to me, the most promising part of all of this is the company isn't dependent upon lithium iron. That could give them a huge advantage over the competition when it comes to the fight for raw materials over the next decade. Frankly, I have to say, after reading about this technology, it's extremely promising. And it obviously isn't going to take over the industry. It's not that big, and it may never scale to that size, but it certainly will take a significant chunk of the energy storage system within the American continent, or North America at least, anyhow. This company is one to look at. Liquid metal batteries appear to be the real deal, and I'm excited to see the first one arrive at the first customer location within the next few months. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.